Hi everyone, Craig here, youtube.com slash level epic. Uh, today's Gotham City build in Minecraft is the clock tower of Gotham City. This is it here, it's near the um, uh, Grand Central Station type place. Uh, let me show you where exactly it is on the map. Right right there, that's, that's where it is. Kind of in the center of the... Uh, Low, uh, I don't even know what that is. I mean, that's upper. Uh, whatever. You see, you see where that is. You can tell. Um, I I built this out of a uh, stone brick. There's not too many stone bricks buildings in the area. Actually, I don't even think there's anything. The nearest one is probably the church over there. So I chose stone brick for this building. It has a lot of glass. Quite a bit of glass, actually. Um, and because it has a whole bunch of glass, it means that there isn't too many walls. So uh, we'll just we'll just head down, do a tour on the inside. So the f basement or the main floor here is pretty barren. Uh, the reason why is because once we go up, you'll see that this is actually connected to the elevated rail right here. You can see the elevated rail. So since it's connected to the elevated rail, there would be a lot of traffic. So I wanted the bottom floors to be pretty open, uh, so it wouldn't stop people from walking around and stuff and you go up here and you have um, some tables uh, office space the reason for the tables is because there's actually this is a coffee stand so you know you can get coffee standard brewing stuff and uh, items are in the chest to make coffee so if you're waiting for someone to show up or if you're waiting for a train or something, you can just uh, get a drink and sit there and wait. Or you can sit up here and wait. Uh, this is actually where the train goes through. So, of course, it's red here to indicate that it's the elevated rail. Uh, there's sitting areas here. There's a bookstore in case, you know, you're waiting for a while and you're looking for something to read on the train. You can come in here and buy a book or something. Uh, then we're gonna go upstairs. Oh, hang on. Upstairs. Uh, upstairs is. Well, let's go over here first. This is just a bathroom. Pretty simple bathroom. Same as my usual bathrooms, pretty much always. Uh, then we have a, whole, a very large area here for eating. Uh, we have a large kitchen area as well as this is. I didn't really know how to show off a. Uh, like a salad bar type place so I just put a whole bunch of plants in pots hope, hoping that that I don't know that does probably about the closest I'm gonna be able to get um, but there's the kitchen large island in the center multiple sinks it, it's uh, it holds quite a lot and then this here is just another bathroom pretty much a mirror image of the other one uh, the only difference is that this has urinals so that's that, and the reason why there's such a large area here is because this is actually all businesses. Uh, this is all just one business underneath the clock tower. So all the employees that work up here, and there is quite a lot of them. Um, you know, there's six, seven, eight, nine, eleven. Uh, what's that? Fourteen. Fourteen plus the floor boss. Um, yeah, quite quite a lot of people. So if there's that many people, and not to mention, uh, I guess you could, I could have made it so that people downstairs, people going to the uh, elevated rail, I could have made it so that they could come up, but I didn't. Uh, I'm thinking now maybe there's a little too many chairs. Maybe I should make it a little bit smaller or make it available so that the people from down there can. Actually, I might change that. I might make it so this is just like a restaurant and people can just come up here. Um, I think it might be a better idea, actually. Uh, anyways, I'll do that later. So anyways, this is a, a large office area. Many, many, many people work here. Um, and then you can go up here. And this is the clock tower, so if you're familiar with the clock tower at all, this is where uh, Barbara Gordon, when she turns into the Oracle, this is where she works out of. So this is just basically a large computer bank here. Um, and it's pretty simple. There's a, a bedroom area here hidden behind 
the pink wall. Just a chest uh, shelving over there. I could probably put more shelving in if I wanted to, but I'm just going to leave it like that for now. Uh, that is for um, wardrobe type thing there. Lights. And that's it. And then, of course, you got the door to the outside so you can see the clock. And actually change this. Before, there was only one clock face. I made it so there's two clock faces now, one on either side. Uh, this one, of course, can be seen by a lot more people. And then this side, I don't really know who's going to be able to see this clock. Um, I might have to make this building maybe a little shorter in order for people to see. Because, yeah, you're you're not going to be able to see it from pretty much anywhere. Maybe if you're in this building here, or, or this gray building in front of me, you'll be able to see it. But otherwise, no one's really going to be able to see that. So, I don't know. I might change that later. We'll see. Uh, I do like the size of this building though. It's like it's a good size. It kind of is a, a gradual downward slope for these buildings here. But it wouldn't look that bad if it's a little bit shorter either. So we'll see. Uh, anyways, that's going to be it for the clock tower today, guys. That's going to be it for the Gotham City build for today. Thanks for watching. And um, I'll see you next week.